good afternoon and welcome to a Star War. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we're here. We're going to Galactic Star Cruiser today, but I wanted to start the video out here. Normally I would start it up at the front of Galactic Star Cruiser, but I want to start it out here because I wanted to show you guys the line of people waiting to get into Star Cruiser. See, way up there. We're waiting to pull in. Looks like there's maybe like 15 cars ahead of us right now. And we got here at 1.14. And the earliest you can show up is one o'clock in the afternoon. When the security guard came up to the car and like to check us in, make sure we were at the right spot, he asked us, he said, do you have any blasters with you, real or toy? And do you have any long scissors? So those are just some questions that you need to have answers to when you're coming up to the Galactic Star Cruiser. All right, it's now 1.30 and we have made it past the two guard gates and now we're just waiting to valet the car. All right, we only got like four or five cars ahead of us. We're almost there. It is now 1.36. So it's been a pretty good amount of time. Ooh, there's another, there's a Jedi up there. All right, so we have gotten out of the car. They took our luggage and now we have to wait in this line to go into the Star Cruiser, but they also oh, gave did we, us. Did we show them our full outfits? No, not yet, but we're gonna take a photo right well, let's, now. Let's show in front of the sign. You can do a full one of me and I'll do a full one of you. Okay, here's what Jen is wearing. There she is. Beautiful. All right, I love it. Jackson wants to show you his outfit as well. Looking awesome, nice spin. He has his own data pad with him too. All right. So mine, mine turned out a little bit more Indiana Jones than I would have originally anticipated. No, you're like the Indiana Jones of space. I'm space Indiana Jones. Yeah. Give me a spin, give me a spin. Yeah. Now we took pictures in front of the sign and now we are waiting here to get in. It is about 152. Just to give you guys an idea of how long it took for us just to get out of the car and take pictures and like get all checked in because they also gave us our magic bands oh yeah so you get special limited edition magic bands when you're staying here and then they gave us a bag which is for the data pad because right now they are suggesting that you use their data pad so they gave us uh iphones to yeah. use and that's what we're going to use for our play disney app Ooh, so jackson is in the lothcat crew yes you're going to be part of our lothcat do you want me to hold this so you can hold those i'll hold your data pad <laughs> They look like, like pencils. pencils. Yeah. Ooh, say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, what's inside your, your handbook, buddy? Oh, yeah. It's like a little activity book. All right, it looks like we're waiting to go through security through a metal detector. That's what we're waiting for. And then we have to get orientated. And then we blast off in our pod. Oh, yeah. Up to the spaceship. I wonder how Jackson's going to like that. He'll love it. Right, buddy? You want to go on a rocket? He said yes. You just didn't hear him. So now it is about 2.15 and we are in this hallway waiting to get on the launch pad to go up to space. All right, so we've already gotten our first communication from Lakina Mock, who is the cruise director. And she said she had a whole, whole bunch of stuff for us, but this is where I declared my allegiance right here. I said, I admire the goals of freedom and hope of the old Rebel Alliance. So now they know that I'm here for the Rebels, not for the First Order, because there was another thing that was like, I love the order of the first order or whatever like that was you would say like I'm on bad guy's head But I said I'm a good guy. I had one piece of advice for you It's don't wear your outfits To get on the cruise Wear normal clothes then go straight to the room and get changed into your outfit Because you will be very hot waiting to get into space. So there it is the Chandra Starline emblem right there. All right now we just have to watch a safety hollow scan. It's our 275th year anniversary. Of course we are celebrating our maiden voyage to Batu, which is why it's so important that you guys go on your day two excursion. We get to see crew member Mark. He might seem familiar to some of you guys. We are excited to welcome you aboard to begin your fully immersive experience, your very own Star Wars adventure, and be invited to participate in the stories that unfold. All right, Jackson, we're going to space now. Oh, because the algae they eat. It's like flamingos. And we're going in. Right here. You want to stand right here, buddy? It might be a bumpy ride. Hey, look, there's outside. What do we see out there? Pine trees. Oh, going to space. 
happening? We're in space, Jackson! We did it! We made it. We did it. Oh, the air conditioning feels so good. We did it. We're going in. The atrium here. It's a very close spot. This is some place I didn't get to go was the Sublight Lounge. Olga's Cantina has the best libations in the galaxy, but I think we've got some pretty good ones up here too. Uh, Sublight Lounge is another great place to learn how to play sabak and try your hand. Yeah. We have the sabak tournament happening tomorrow. Look, here it is, buddy. Like this way. This is the turbo lift. Step five. to number five. Hit the five, buddy. Big button. Yes. Good job. <laughs> I believe that this is one of the nicest ships in the galaxy, so hopefully it lives up to your standard. Oh, yeah. Um, that's going to have some really well traveled passengers on board. That guy was wearing the same outfit as you. We were the same. We gotta, somebody's got to change. Oh, no. We have your cabin right here. We're going to have your cabin 5210. Ooh. Hold your M band right here to this white square. You did I'll it. Let you in, and I have just a little bit of safety information to go over, so okay. I'll follow you in. Oh, thank you. Oh, our first view in. Oh, oh my look, there's a plant. This is the. All right, oh, it's going to lower down the blast shield. All right, so let's have a look around the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. This is the Galaxy Class Suite. So this is a one bedroom suite. When you first walk in, a little wet bar over here with some metal, like, chalices. And this is a water bottle that is available while you're on board for you to use, you just drink the water out of this, but then you can refill it in the atrium. We can refill it with soda water if we want to. Like I said, there's a sink here. Let's see what's under, oh, just some storage, but there's, there is like plumbing underneath there. There's a refrigerator right here with Dasani water in it. Little trash can here. When we came in, this wasn't something that we set up. This is like a little snack box Got some chips in here, some other stuff that I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks interesting. Well, I'm got not sure tube if this of stuff. Is because we have the the suite. Maybe. Or yeah, what is this stuff? This is, what is this? I don't know. It's just like a tube. It doesn't say. We just gotta try it. Should I open it? Yeah. All right. Oh, it give looks it a, like peanut butter, kind of. Give it a give it a taste. I'm kind of nervous. I'll taste it. What if it's just like fish I'll juice? Taste it. Mm, it's cookie butter. Oh, do you want to taste it, buddy? Mm. Jackson's already out of his space outfit. What do you think? Wow, that's <laughs> it's nice. So good. It must go on something, though. Oh, I think you put it on your dehydrated apples. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're dehydrated. I think they're just vacuum sealed. You want some Ooh, more? Some crinkle cookies. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, one oh, second, buddy. A little spoon. I think you're supposed to put that over this. Oh, oh space chocolates. They got a little mixed up in space. Yeah, space chocolates. They're very Shiny. sparkly. Space chocolates. This is great. So oh, was this one? Did you look at this? That looks like a... Oh, it's like a moose, like a space moose. Yeah. It's kind of, oh, it kind of looks like an, uh, what, what are they called? An atrium, a uh, terrarium? Yeah. But uh, an edible one. I like it. These are like fruit by the foot, but like space. Oh, like fruit roll-ups? Yeah. Let's see what's inside this closet right here. So we've got a safe in there. What else, buddy? Oh, this is where you put your, like, hang your stuff up. And also where you keep your extra pillow. Here you go, bud. All right, buddy, close the door. You wanna try the space fruit? Try some space fruit. You wanna try some? Yeah, sure. Pretty is it good? Nice. What is it? What flavor is it? Tropical. Keep that is too. delicious. Yeah. Wow. And so as we continue around the room, there is like a little bar seating right here. Oh. This is a something spitter plant. Oh, he said it was a poisonous something. So there's a drink at dinner that we will show you guys. There's a non-alcoholic drink that they use the venom from this plant and then they neutralize it. So it's not actually venomous. Mm. But in this case, is in its live state, it is venomous. That's why it's behind glass. Does it do anything? I don't know. Oh, it's like glowing. Mm. Ooh. I wonder if anything happens. Maybe we'll have to keep an eye on it. Right? Oh, Jackson's found every single button. We have an area over here. I think this is a, a bed, maybe. Because there are some USBs. I love it. Some storage under here. Let's see. 
Also, a little vanity over here, which is very nice. How do you how do you get into it? Oh. I don't think it is. I don't think it's a bed. I think you could just sleep on this. You can just sleep on it if you wanted yeah. to. So this is a bed. And there is a TV over here. I do like the like aesthetic in here. It is super spacey. Yeah. This is what our view outside right now. And if you want to turn this off or close it, you push the white button right there and it closes. They call it a blast shield just so that you don't have to worry about it disturbing you at night. Right? Makes so it darker yeah, in here. When Jackson takes his nap or when he goes to sleep, we'll make sure we close that blast shield because all of the other space vehicles outside are pretty bright. Right. But so there's also like a little emergency pod over here. They explained it during the... Sorry. <laughs> they did mention that if there was an actual emergency that we would use the emergency pod. This is how we would exit. To they like just said the... to go inside of it and wait. Yeah. Well, I think this leads to like the outside. Oh. Yeah. Space. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jackson, look at this. Oh, so let me move this table because there's a special thing over here for you, buddy. You ready? I'm over here, all up on the other side. There it goes. It was where does that go? Oh, it locks? Yeah. That's kind of silly. So now we're gonna, this is where the kitchen was. We're headed back this way to the main bedroom. And look, there's a Jackson. So How this, did you get in here? This was actually in front of this. I'm gonna set it up how they had it set up. But this was right here. Oh, <laughs> that's a oh, diaper that's, genie. But a space, it looks very space. Right, space diaper genie. In the main bedroom, there is a pull down bed. So this is what the bed in the other, in the living room looks like as well. So we don't get the bunks like you would in no. a standard cabin. I think that's the one thing that I'm like kind of sad about because the bunks were so cool looking. Right? But uh, but these are pretty cool too. Yeah. Is that where you're gonna sleep by? We have a queen size bed here. Let's see how comfortable it is. I love this blanket. Yeah, it's nice. Well, it feels like memory foam. Ooh. Yeah, it feels nice. Very nice. There's a phone in the wall. This is our droid who can help us out D309. I feel like I could control the ship from here. Right? There's a closet. Can you open the closet door? What do we got going on there? Extra robes. pillows. Oh, there's oh, robes. Sorry. Space robes. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Extra pillow. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm not finding any extra blankets, though. I think we could probably ask for them if we needed them. Right. My little door. Your little, Your door? little door? Oh, yeah. We got to move this stuff out of the way. I will say there's no USBs next to the bed, though. Why not? In space, you in don't space, see them. There are USBs out there, but not uh, in next to the... Oh yeah, so this is a little table and there's little chairs that pull out. Is this as far out as it goes? I guess so. Huh. That doesn't seem right, does it? No. Pull out the little the little chairs. Okay. Let me see my little door. Hold on one second, buddy. Let's pull these out. Can you pull this out for mommy? Pull this out for mommy. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa. My little door. Okay, give me one second and I'll pull out your little door. So yeah, I guess that's as far out as it goes. Huh. A little tiny you, table, you yeah, sit you sit here. here. And you look at the beautiful views of space. Oh, it's closed. Oh no, there is space. Yeah. Well, what planet are we near? Don't know. Hmm, interesting. Okay, bud. All right, let's head into the bathroom. Okay. Jackson's like, I'm in the bathroom already. <laughs> There's me. Hello. You going in the shower, bud? You don't want to go in the shower? So to the left we have a commode with a mirror in here so that you can check your full outfit, make sure you are spacey. We have attached body lotion and hand soap on the wall over here. Some little hand towels. This is a special toiletry kit. Oh, there's body lotion on, and, hand towel, or, and hand soap on this side as well. I love it. So you open that while I'm okay. checking out the shower. Oh my goodness, two showers. Are there? Right next to each other. There's one over here, and there's one over here too. I love Look at that. that. With hand controls. The only problem is there's not a bathtub in here. Oh wow. Oh yeah. So where are we gonna bathe? I guess we'll have to give him a, a shower. Yeah, give him a shower bath. He'll love that because he do, he doesn't ever get that. He gets a bath. So this comes with face cloths to remove your makeup. Okay. And all galactic specimens with one swipe. Foaming bubble mask. I know that you don't like to do masks, but you're doing this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, we got four of them. Oh, oh one man. for each night. Wow. So it's a gel to bubble texture that calms and soothes the skin for all galactic species and visibly enhances your protection. Jackson just yelled, I need some help. 
I think he's behind this door. Behind door number two, we find a Jackson. There Sorry, he is. I think I said it visibly enhances your protection because Jackson was yelling. I meant complexion. Oh, okay. Your space complexion will be very um, enhanced. So I will say it took kind of a while for us to get into the Star Cruiser. So we got to the Star Cruiser at 1.15 in the afternoon. You can start boarding at 1. Right now it is 3.10 and we've just finished the room tour. And we have to be in the atrium at 4 for muster. But they have a lunch going on right now. So we're going to go get some lunch and hopefully finish that within 45 minutes in order to make it to the muster in the atrium. And then start out our Star Wars story. Start like talking to the characters and things like that. I will say Jackson usually has a nap around 1. I don't think he has the chance to have a nap coming to the Star Cruiser today. So we're just going to get some lunch and he's going to hopefully power through it. We'll see how far he lasts or how long he lasts. The other thing I wanted to point out was, I think this is the hair dryer down here. Look at this. Oh, it's a Dyson. A Dyson hair dryer. Wow. That's fancy. All right. Because I guess they do, the Dyson hair dryers do look spacey. So it makes sense that you would have a Dyson hair dryer here in space. Jackson uh, lasted about five minutes in his space outfit. <laughs> He's ready to go now. All right, let's go eat. All right. Just to give a little bit of orientation, we are on deck four right now. Okay. Um, over here is where the lightsaber pod is going to be for training and for young like ways tomorrow morning. Yeah. And also where our jet bridge will be located for you to go on the planet tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. That is oh, look. Clean it up. Oh, and the break. Uh, we're a little orientation on where we're at. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Get something to eat. Oh, oh because it's a buffet. That we can go right in. We'll just head straight through those doors okay. and find a seat. Thank, Thank you. you. This is buffet style for lunch and breakfast, but they do have a drink menu available. Oh, a silver sea martini. So these are an additional charge because they are like uh, alcoholic beverages. Bad motivator IPA. Look, they have Star Wars themed beers. So like I said, we're just going to go back to this area back here and get some food. So let's see what we've got here. We've got nori crusted redfish with mushrooms and red cabbage. There's some uh, tippy up chicken that is not here right now. Oh no, here's some dipped tippy up chicken with macaroni and cheese it looks like. This is roasted flora, so this is the vegetarian or the vegan actually, made without animal meat, dairy, eggs, or honey. We've got some crinkle cookies over here. We have a green leaf salad with what looks like a, like a cheese crisp on top. Chandrillan salad, which is mushrooms, kale leaf, olives, squash fruit, and white berry vinegar. A blue bantha milk fruit whip. Ooh, that sounds good. What are these? A Chaco Whip with a hibiscus meringue. Sunflower butter and jelly. So this is like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but it's sunflower, sunflower butter, sun butter and jelly. Pork and cheese takeaway with black spiced spread. Sorghum stew is crawfish tails, rice and yellow seed sticks, fire melted cheese takeaway with red fruit soup dipper, meaning tomato soup. We've got some skim milk, some half and half, some creamer, some coffee, or as they call it here, black calf. We can have any of these sodas. We have Coke, Fanta, Coke, Zero Sugar, Powerade, Minute Maid, Sprite, uh, Diet Coke, and Coca-Cola. And then we've got blue and green milk over here. And then some water. Ooh, look at these space utensils. Yeah, here's what I got for lunch. You want to eat some bacon? I don't even think we have. Are you talking about this? The takeaway, yeah. Do you want to try it? It's very crispy. I'm excited for this one because this is like peanut butter and jelly, but it's sun butter and jelly. We'll see how you like it, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's some tough ham right there, bud. You really got to bite it. 
got it. Space ham is a little... A little crispy. So we ordered two of the specialty non-alcoholic drinks. Each of these were $8. We got the blue milk citrus fizz on the left, which is lychee lime, lemon lime soda, and blue milk sorbet. And then we got the Muja Twist, which is watermelon, herbal garden blend, mint, and sparkling bubbles. Nice. Oh, it has the like dried hibiscus. It's very minty. Yeah? I think it would be. You want to try a sip? Try a little sip right here. Little sip, little sip. How is the Muja Twist, mm -hmm. Jackson? Yeah. What do you think? Minty? <laughs> you you want to try the blue one? one? I think the blue one you'll have fun with. Mm. Yeah, this one is very so minty. Oh, you want to try it? Yeah. I can try it. What do you think? Do you like that one better? <laughs> it's like... <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> it's like kind of floral. But floral? Yeah, it tastes good. Does it you not taste like blue milk? Ice cream. Let's I have try. some chocolate for you, buddy, but you have to eat your rest of your food. Yeah, eat that and then maybe you need some chocolate from that. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's like... Lemonade or mm -hmm. limeade yeah. with a floral note. It's interesting. And sparkling bubbles, like sparkling water. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I like it. Here's the inside of my sun butter and jelly puff. It's pretty good, actually. I will say, of all the stuff that I've tried, I like this the least. What is it? Like a some sort of little pizza with chicken on it. But like wait, it, it's wait. very... You um, it's very... Like you curry. Need to get a little bit more macaroni, okay? So I wasn't I wasn't really excited about that. I like that. Try a bite of this one. I like the the grab and go sandwich. Yeah. I like the tip yip. I like the sun butter and jelly. That was really good. The sandwich was the takeaway sandwich. The takeaway sandwich. Jackson likes the uh, the macaroni and cheese. And the bubble bread. And the bubble bread. And I think I'm gonna like this chocolate right here. It sounded so nice. So I got the fish, which is interesting. It's not bad it's just an interesting flavor um but i also got the green salad the mushroom salad which is kind of like with a couscous yeah. and then i try i wanted to try this um crawfish okay uh i wonder if they had to ship the crawfish in from earth yeah maybe okay well we just wore out on earth so like maybe they just brought it up uh, okay yeah they used our transport trip as a, as a, a trip to bring up the crawfish yeah okay it was like a crawfish and uh rice so it's a little a little spicy and then you add it to this piece of like it's almost like a cornbread crisp take a bite a little a little sweet a little spicy pretty nice all right we're going to muster now let's take the turbo lifts buddy turbo lift it up all right perfect timing all right we're here for the muster oh there's the captain right there too all right that's us There's an Astromech driving around up there. Boo! Orax! SK is, is making an announcement or something. Everybody got real quiet because SK was like, beep, boop, 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 boop. I feel like Sammy is having a hard time. I must have the docking bear request, but not the intestinal suit. Oh, hello, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Right. It's, 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 sorry. Sorry. Hello everyone, my name is Lake Amok and I am the cruise director of the Halcyon. Right over here is SK620, my right hand droid and a valuable member of the crew. SK, could you monitor our departure operations and uh, thanks for the time check, buddy. Excellent. Now many of you have met our Saja, but I want you to know this, that their journey far exceeds the decks of this ship. And I look forward to you getting to know them as we go on this voyage together. It is my honor to introduce the captain of the Halcyon. She commands this ship with integrity, a steady hand, and the ferocious calm of a sleeping loft cat. <laughs> <laughs> it is my honor to introduce to you Captain Riola Keevan. My advice to all of you, Never wake a sleeping loft cat. <laughs> well, my friends, we are delighted to have you here on board the Halcyon. We have a very exciting voyage planned for you. More on that in a moment. But first, our top priority during spaceflight is the comfort and the well-being of our passengers. To that end, we begin every voyage with our muster drill and roll call. All of you have found your way 
to your now assigned muster stations. Look around you. Remember where you are. We need you to be able to get to these stations so that we know you are present and accounted for. That concludes our muster drill and safety alert briefing. Well done. It is my honor and privilege to welcome you here aboard the Star Cruiser Halcyon. The Halcyon has a long and rich history. She has been traveling for over 200 years. And in that time, she has been host to both royalty and rogue, hero and warrior. I began my own career aboard this ship many years ago as a young quartermaster. And while I have led and served on different ships in different fleets, while I have been fortunate enough to command missions of exploration and discovery, please believe me when I tell you, you will never forget your first ship. And this ship, well, she is something special. But so are all of you. Take a look around at the faces that you see alongside you. All of you coming from different planets, different worlds, here to share in one adventure that will take you to the very edge of the galaxy. Oh, Sammy's up there. What's going on with Sammy? There's a distraction. Something's happening. Can you imagine? We are never going to have a voyage exactly like this one simply because of all of the individuals assembled in this atrium today. But we could not have an exciting cruise throughout the galaxy without an extraordinary crew and an extraordinary cruise director in Lake Mock. Now, as your cruise director, it is my responsibility to Make sure that you have a wonderful time. There is so much to enjoy and explore. Now I'm gonna give you a few of the highlights, but before I do, I wanna remind everyone to make sure you check your data pad for your personal itinerary and schedule. Now if everyone will take a look behind you on the bridge, you will see modern navigation that leads us to new adventures. And all of you are scheduled for bridge operations training, so where you will learn from our incredible crew what it's like to be at the helm of the Halcyon. Now, let's take a look on the left-hand side. You'll see the Sublight Lounge. Now, here's where we have an eclectic mix of liquid refreshments. And I see some of you have already found that out, yes? Now, we also have, uh, for those of you that are interested in a little friendly competition, well, a Sabacc tournament tomorrow. And maybe you want to learn how to play Sabacc, or you want to practice so you can oh, win that tournament tomorrow. Sammy. All day today, we have Sabacc lessons in the Sublight Lounge. Now, listen, you are in for a treat. You are in for many treats. Our chefs and culinary creators are galactically renowned. And the only thing better than a magnificent dinner, well, is magnificent entertainment by the galactic superstar, the one, the only, Gaia! Oh, I'm so excited for you and I don't want you to miss it. So make sure you check your... Yeah. Oh, they learn fast. Well done. Now tomorrow, of course, we arrive on Batu, an exotic port of call. And for those of you that want to get acclimated to the climate, we actually have a climate simulator on deck four right next to the trading pod. So go ahead and get ready. Maybe you just want to not just acclimate, but have a peaceful place to stay, sit, think about it, yes? And whisperings. Now I want to finish with this. First, that we are so excited to have you aboard the Halcyon. But let's remember, we are all on this journey together. And no matter where you're from, we all share one Galaxy. Here is to our stories, to our journey, to our new ship's mechanic, Sammy, who is supposed to be in the engineering room. Sammy, everyone. <laughs> I know, will you please tell these nice people about uh, Batu? Batu is great. Excellent. Well, Batu is an exotic port of call, but it's on the outer rim. Many say it's the last stop wild space. So, to get there, we are going to jump into hyperspace. Who's excited about hyperspace? Thank you so much, Lenka. My apologies, everyone. Lenka, Sammy has received a surprising talking request that he has gone to handle. Uh, we will be departing shortly. There is no cause for concern, my friends. Oh, no. 
915? Miss Ma, why don't you stay here? Everyone, there is no cause for concern. Captain, uh, there, there may be some cause for concern. Please. Uh, everyone, don't worry. As she said, there's nothing the ship can't handle. So there's nothing to worry about. I'm certain that you did not, Captain. I'm on your ship, Captain. Because the activities of the house had attracted suspicion. <laughs> we are a civilian star cruiser. That hardly seems likely. A civilian star cruiser whose ports of call seem to coincide with rumors of resistance activity. A star cruiser with food, flags, <coughs> and cargo space. A star cruiser filled with passengers from Anywhere. <laughs> Whose loyalties we do not know. That is preposterous. <laughs> I agree, Captain. Can you imagine harboring resistance sympathizers and aiding the enemy? Why, that would be treason. Or reason. Lenka? Your name and position, madam? Lakemark, cruise director. How fun. By the authority of the First Order, I will be stationed aboard the Halcyon during this voyage. I will investigate your ship, your crew, your passengers. Does your droid have something to add? No, they don't. SK, please. Whatever is going on here, the First Order will end. Work with us, and you will be rewarded if you do not cooperate, if you resist. There will be consequences. Lieutenant, whatever it is you are looking for, I can assure you, you will not find it here. However, since you will be joining us, I can assure you that myself, Lenka, and the rest of our crew will endeavor to make your stay with us a pleasant one. As we do for all of our passengers. Precisely. We value all of our guests. You and your friends will be no exception. Well, then I'll consider it a working vacation. Now I need someone to service my ship. You, who seem capable but not unskilled enough to make a mess of things. <laughs> you may need schematics. You'll find them on this data card. It's a Zy class. Zy class military trends. Oh, so sorry. No, look, I used to build ships on Corellia, so <laughs> I can handle a shuttle. Command. Shuttle. We will keep an eye on. Right. All in, trooper. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mock, we've interrupted your little party. Please, continue. And I have been remiss. Uh, allow me to show you to the visitor accommodations. Leica has one more announcement. Please, Miss Captain. Uh, well, uh, after that interruption, I'm sure we can all use a little pick-me-up, yes? Yeah. Woo! Halcyon crew, please, let's start de delivering those drinks, yes? Now, as we do this, we have a surprise performance to celebrate our departure to Batu. It is my honor to introduce the galactic superstar, the one, the only, Gaia! Well, you don't really manage. Yeah. But I do handle all of her business affairs, 
and um, you know everything else that does need to be managed. May I introduce to you all right now a guy that is extremely talented, a companist, Wani! <laughs> well, my apologies, everyone. It has been a very long day, and we have not yet left port. <laughs> However, we will be getting our toast in just a moment, but before we do, Lego, what can our friends expect from their itinerary? Yes, Captain. So for those of you that are scheduled for 4.30 bridge operations training, you're going to meet our wonderful crew right back here. For those of you that are scheduled for lightsaber training, you're going to head to deck four at the training pod and meet with one of our sages. And for those of you that are scheduled for our 5.30 dinner seating, please, you don't want to be late because hopefully Gaia is going to be on time and you don't want to miss one minute of that, all right? Captain? Now, my friends, now that you have your glasses, Chandra Bohr, our founder, used to begin every single voyage with the phrase Tabuite. It quite literally means cherish or savor the moment. So, if you will raise your glasses, here is to safe travels, true adventure, and an unforgettable voyage here aboard the Star Cruiser Halcyon, Tabuite! Now, smuggling action going on over here. I was very excited to come over here and get some chilled sparkling water. And uh, it doesn't seem to be working right now. Darn. All right, we have access granted to do bridge training. Jackson's gonna fly the ship. Where do we go? They got him a step stool. Look, Jackson gets a little step stool. Now he can control everything. Look at that. We're gonna control the ship, buddy. So we will tell you that during that captain's speech and everything, when we were yelling for our muster stations, Jackson didn't like the loud noises. So we had to take Jackson back to the room for a little bit, but now it's a little bit quieter, a little bit less like boisterous people around. And now he's got buttons to push. Now we're all good. Now we're all good. It is our honor to guide you through a few hands-on demonstrations of the capabilities of this amazing ship. And to give you a glimpse into what it takes to become a crew member aboard the Halcyon. Let me also take a moment to introduce our navigation droid AJ10, otherwise known as Watch. Watch, are you there? This is AJ10 on the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Where the red rafts are, Chandrilla and Corsican, so right next to each other. Plat 2, that's where we're headed to. Oh, this is our. This is our. Weapons our, and shields. What are they called? Our itinerary. Commencing all passenger yeah. demonstration drill to shoot, load, repair, and defend. What do we have to Wonderful. do, Jackson? I don't know. As you can see, on the port and star monitors, we are also oh. keeping track of how well you do at each of these stations. Woo! Ooh, look, it's lighting up. This system station is what we use to divert power around the ship and repair any damage we might okay. take during our maneuvers. A very important station. we got to repair all the damage. You will do this by following the instructions on your station screen to this keep screen our right ship here. stable. Push the red button. Good job, Jackson. Wow. Success. You have already beat, match the lit buttons. 
Oh no, oh, I see what you did. Gotcha, it was up there. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Match the knobs. These oh, knobs okay. over here, so this no. one's gonna be on three, two, one, one. Good job, Jackson, you did it. We're doing good. 90 seconds, buddy. We almost did it. We almost did it. This is fun, I like this one. You're doing great, Jackson. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta push this button and these buttons, and Mommy will control that one. Whoa, what is this one for? That's for uh, controlling your weapons. You're gonna it's shoot. All, it's all nimbly bimbly. Yeah, you're gonna shoot, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot bad guys. Who? The bad guys. Oh, I think. No, no, you're a good guy. Oh. Am I a good guy? <laughs> oh, look at us. All right, so we gotta look for this guy outside the window. No, I don't have my glasses on. Well, no, I can't see without my glasses. I can't. I feel like Push nobody, the blue button, buddy. Nobody wore glasses in Star Wars. Push the red button or orange button. We did great. Somebody wore glasses. Who? The glasses guy. I don't think anybody did. I oh. think it didn't go with my, my costume. The Jawas were wearing glasses. Oh, yeah. Good job, Jackson. You did great. Success. Oh, we were supposed to be doing that. What? what? Aim at the target. Oh, oh. Right there. Success. We're the blue. This guy, right there. See it in the center? Way over here. Oh, oh, oh. Keep pushing the button. Shoot, push the yellow button. You ready? Ready? Here it is. Boom. Oh, that was a good job, buddy. Nice work. Look at us. We got 14 hits and 22 shields destroyed. All right, we're over to shields. This is Jackson's favorite part so far is in the bridge control, the bridge training. We're doing great. This is teamwork. Making the dream work. We did it. Nothing blew up. Jackson's pushing the button and I'm just blocking little gigantic things here. Doing great, Jackson. Keep pushing it. All right, all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. You gotta. Look. You're doing really good. Keep pushing it. Look at you go, buddy. We make a great team. You and me, bud. That was a high score. Nice work. Look at that. 122. Wow. But we had a baby controlling half of it. That's pretty great. So Isn't it fun? Yeah, I really like that. Wait till we actually do have to do it for real. I mean, if we have to do it for real. All right, here we go. We. All right, here we go. Orange. All right, buddy, push up. Grab it, Jen. Grab it. All right, we did it. Nice work. We got one. That's amazing. Look at what he's doing, and he got one. Wow. I feel like we're not really an asset to this to this ship. Two! We did great. Yay! Yay! This is the littlest guy you think. So you're in love. I am going to contact her right now and see when she will be arriving. Watch, disengage training protocol and open the calm channel, please. All right, remember, watch me for the signal. Enthusiastic applause. I've made the arrangements. I will provide the intercept coordinates and Wraith will raise your team. The ship is Yes. 
absence would impact much more. Ooh. I don't typically perform in venues <laughs> as quaint as your shit, but as you know, this engagement will be mutually beneficial. Quaint, yes, of course. Why don't you send us the coordinates of your spot? I'll send them, but Rafe must meet me when I arrive. And would you give him a message? Of course, I have a few choice words of my own for him. <laughs> Tell him I've packed two stars to guide us to three bright moons and a rising sun. I I'm sorry, what? Tell Rafe that I have packed two stars to guide us to three bright moons and a rising sun. Well, that's very poetic, but I don't know. You will pass that on to Rafe, yes? Verbatim. Two stars, yeah. three bright moons, rising sun. Let me on your way. Of course, we don't want to Got it. miss a show. Or you to miss one of my biggest right here, right here. hits. Coaxian. Oh, understood. <laughs> we will be there shortly, and your mini fans. Of course they do. I ask only for your applause, your adoration, and just perhaps your assistance. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, we will have you aboard very soon, guys. That is a diva. <laughs> right there. Wow. He goes leave <laughs> Watch. Let's reroute the Star Cruiser. The captain and crew are with our new guests at present. Yes, our first order of visitors. But we still need a crew if we're going to pick up Gaia. The aggregate simulation scores for this training group or training crew were markedly above the calculated mean. Yes, well, congratulations. But uh, bridge operations training is just a shipboard activity. It's not actually operating the bridge. It is a remarkably accurate simulation. I designed elements of it myself. We have to fly the ship. We are no longer just passengers now. We are part of the best crew in the galaxy. You are a part of the Halcyon crew. I already need your help to follow the instructions on your screens to prepare the ship for hyperspace. Once it's ready, oh, we're going to see two exciting. schematics on these monitors. So we're going to go to hyperspace, go. buddy. You ready? In three, two, one. Now. Whoa! We did it. Uh oh. Right in the middle of an asteroid field. No, no, no. Uh, not an asteroid field. Why did it have to be asteroids? Oh, geez. It's a good thing we know what we're doing, right, buddy? Look out the window. That's us. All right, buddy, shoot him. Shoot him. Nice work, everybody. Oh, no. Keep pushing the button. Whoa. Look at that. Now, this is a spa. There it is. I found the spa. That's the spa. Yeah. There's nothing like having the spa to oneself to prepare one for having the stage to oneself. Would you not agree? Yes, that sounds a lot more relaxing than what we went through. I understand the house here is renowned for its impeccable service, but I must like insist. Wraith Cole is to direct the handling of my luggage. On this, am I quite clear? Well, it seems that Gaia is ready for the house here. We'll find out if the house here is ready for coming. Hey, there he is! Great right oh, uh, Where did you come from? You know, Lenka Mark. Is that right? Lenka? Yes. You and I have a lot in common. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> we both make people happy. Right? You you dedicate your time and your talent to activities and entertainments to make sure that your guests have a wonderful time, right? Yes, absolutely. I dedicate my time and talents many talents <laughs> to providing incredible entertainment. Right? I bring the gift of Gaia. Her music changes lives. Passenger shuttle docked and secure. Well, delightful. Yes, uh, now we can get back on schedule. And I'd also like to thank all of you for uh, joining me on this unplanned rendezvous. Yes, and I think that you 
all agree once you see her perform uh, that getting Gaia was worth worth the journey. I, I know that the captain will agree with that. Right. Watch, would you please inform the captain that Gaia is aboard? I'm sure that she will want to meet her. Now, Mr. Cole, my friend Hannah here has a message for you from Gaia. That what was the message? dark side to her hate coaxium. She's going to be happy that you know that. Um, you know what? Now that uh, she's arriving, I don't want you to miss her arrival. Everybody, let's go out to the atrium. We'll stay out of trouble as long as people are watching. And, uh, meet Gaia. Gaia. Ah. Ah. So good to see you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. And uh, I will say, you are not the only luminary who is on board the house here right now. We also have Lieutenant Carmen Crowley from the First Order joining us. Yeah. I would like a chance to introduce you. Oh, sure. We will be right next I don't know if there's a line. I think you just kind of like gather around them to see them. We can go over this way. Oh. Hello, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, we're excited. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're enjoying ourselves. Oh yes, yeah. Are well, you gonna? Are you gonna be performing at dinner too? Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. She must confess you. Oh, <laughs> very excited for that. Very excited Can for I that. Take a picture with you. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Jackson, what do you think? Say hello, Jackson. Achuta. <laughs> Okay. Banana. 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 You like to dance, oh, Jackson? Dancing? Dancing at dinner? Will you show her your dance? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 I haven't been in the Starlight Lounge yet. These guys are over here playing Sabak. I gotta learn how to play Sabak. Oh, Gaia's in here, look at that. And so is the captain. Oh, and so is Gaia's manager, Wraith Cole. Should be coming and get Gaia for dinner. Hello, my young friend. Jackson, this is the captain. Say hello to the captain. Hello, after you, my friends. Good parade. I am Captain Keevan. This is Gaia, but I'm sure you see her on uh, your hollow bench. Yeah. He wants bananas. Oh, he wants bananas. I can understand that. We might have some at passenger services. Okay. Sure he is complete with potassium. Well, it's time for dinner, so we're going to go see a guy's performance at dinner. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay? And when you will do the So many beautiful women in one corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right this way. All right, so so much stuff happens on the Star Cruiser that we had to break the videos up into different sections. So. This is the end of part one of day one, but not to worry, there still is a lot more action coming. Tomorrow we're gonna to start the video with dinner and we'll get to see some space food. We'll get to see a Gaia performance and we'll continue doing missions throughout the ship and you might even see a few familiar faces as the night progresses. I am having a blast so far. I think Jackson's having a good time and I think Jen is having a good time. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow for part two of day one on our Galactic Star Cruiser. And now it's time to pay the price.